Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0344 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P0344 code? Well, it's a camshaft position sensor, a intermittent interruption. And what does this mean? Well, the camshaft position sensor reports back to the onboard computer, the location of the cam as it spins. And this is for timing. So it's seeing a problem inside of this circuit and it'll need to be troubleshooted. And the camshaft position sensor is just a small device that sits up near the top of the engine by the cam and it has a small harness going to it. It'll have one or two bolts on it. And it's a fairly simple device. It just detects when metal goes in front of it. So it, it detects the teeth of the camshaft as it spins. And so with an error code P0344, it's going to be one of two things. It's either going to be the camshaft position sensor itself has gone bad or in the wiring. Because any bad wiring, a bad connection, an open or a short, anything like this, it's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad camshaft position sensor. So both will need to be troubleshooted. And you'll need to Google the location of the camshaft position sensor on your Honda, since it can vary depending on the engine. And some Hondas will have two sensors, uh, not very many. It, it's only a few. It depends on the engine design. But it is something to keep in mind is that it's possible that there's two camshaft position sensors. Although by far, it's usually just one sensor on most engines. And you can go about troubleshooting this one of two ways. You can start off troubleshooting the wiring and getting some basic readings with the meter just to check it out. Or you could just go ahead and replace the sensor, which many people do. And if it doesn't work, then they go and do the wiring. I would suggest checking the wiring first, but it just depends on how you want to troubleshoot it. If you wanted to just replace the sensor, they are low cost parts. They're usually less than 20, 30 bucks. I'll jump over on Amazon and give you an idea. So they're not really high cost items or nothing. One of the problems with swapping out one of these is that while the sensor itself is easy to swap out, you should just have one or two bolts and a harness. If there's any other component inside of the way, then you might have to remove it. That happens sometimes. Sometimes the valve cover will need to be removed, things like this. It could, sometimes it could be a little bit evolved if, if there's another component in the way. Sometimes they'll just be in the open like this, so they're easy. But other times it could be more difficult. It just depends on the engine type. And if you wanted to check out the wiring, it's also fairly easy. Most wiring plugs will be three wires. Some older cars will have two, but most will have three. And some newer ones will have four. But by far, the most common is three wire. And what's going on with these is you have one in the middle is usually ground. Uh, then you have one going back to the battery for a reference voltage. So you'll get like 12 volts between the middle and the outer one. And then the third wire is going back to the onboard computer, back to the ECM. And this is reporting what's going on with the sensor. So anytime the sensor, a piece of metal goes in front of the sensor, it'll go from like five volts to zero volts on this, on the third wire, which the onboard computer is reading. So quite often what a mechanic will do is they'll take the sensor off, they'll insert it into this harness, they'll put the key in the on position, they'll come in from the back of the sensor and they'll read from ground to the return wire to the onboard computer and you'll put a piece of metal in front of the sensor and see if it goes from five volts to zero. You'll know if the whole circuit's working or not. And that's a common technique to do that. There's there's YouTube videos on that if you want to get more involved in that. And one thing to also mention is that these are usually on a fuse somewhere. So the fuse could have blown, especially if there's a short circuit, uh, usually inside the engine compartment, sometimes underneath the dash, but usually inside the engine compartment. Uh, you want to check around and see if there's a fuse that's on this circuit because if it blows, then you're not going to get no power to it. So be sure to keep that in mind. And so what do you do if you have a Honda with the P0344 code? Well, first thing to do is Google where the camshaft position sensor is on your Honda. Check the wiring. Be sure the wiring is good. Use a meter if you have to or whatever you have to do. Be sure the wiring is good. Check for any fuses. See if any fuses have got blown. If all that looks good, then go ahead and replace the sensor. And that should solve the problem. This code is usually involved with one of those three things. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a real quick brief overview of what you could do if you had a Honda with the P0344 code and how you go about fixing it. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.